What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a lobby that I managed to encounter while playing Among Us. This lobby contains many dark secrets that I'm sure you have never seen before. What happened to me in this lobby was very disturbing and I'm here to tell you everything that happened to me so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on and drop a like on this video video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with today's story video. So I'm sure you know about Sairi Soro who is known as the biggest hacker in all of Among Us. Well, today I have something very disturbing to tell you. Sairi Soro has been creating several lobbies across all of Among Us. And if you were to join one of these Among Us lobbies, you are in danger. I managed to join one of his lobbies and many strange events took place that I'm sure no player has ever seen. So this all happened on a regular day. I joined a random lobby that had the name Sairi Soro. And when I joined, I didn't see him anywhere. But I could see at the very bottom that there was four players. It didn't take me long to realize that Sairi Soro was outside of the dropship. I stared at him in disbelief. How did he manage to get out of the dropship if the only exit is closed? I opened up the chat and he said, hello Chari. I said, um, hello? Why do you always follow me, Sairi Soro? He responded with, welcome back. Players inside of the lobby were freaking out that there was two reds. As I was reading the chat, Sairi Soro told me that he missed me and that we should have some fun. Sairi Soro was making me really angry because all he does is follow me. I can never get rid of him. The match started, but I was the color purple when I selected red when I was in the lobby. And what I was about to witness was something so horrifying. When we all spawned into the cafeteria, our colors, skins, and pets were changing. Out of my entire time playing Among Us, I have never seen anything like this before. But we are facing one of the biggest hackers in all of Among Us. While I was in the admin room, I could see Sairi Soro's skin changing as well. So his own hack was being used against him. While I was walking through communications, I saw Pink's dead body. The crewmate right next to me reported the body, but Sari Soro didn't let us vote. I guess you can say it was a good thing since I was one of the imposters. When I spawned in, I wanted to take a look at the crewmate's skins and their colors. Because I was just so amazed that Sairi Soro could actually do this. But as I was looking around, Sairi Soro was disconnected from the lobby. A meeting was then called and I was laughing at Sairi Soro. Since Among Us took notice of him using these hacks and kicked him out. But before I could have any fun, my game started to glitch and I was randomly kicked off. I rejoined a random lobby and I could see some players that I've seen before. Which I found really suspicious. I saw that there was 4 players in the game and 3 players in the dropship. So Sairi Sora is somewhere in this lobby. I spotted him outside of the dropship in the same location that I saw him last match. And he also sent me a message in the chat saying you joined my lobby again Chari. So I responded with you are hacking lobbies aren't you? He responded with, maybe. I closed the chat and I could see everyone's color changing once again. This is gonna be fun. The match started and I was imposter with Sairi Sorrel. Why does he always select me as imposter? That's something I'll never understand. We all spawned in and everyone's color, skin, pets were changing. And the cafeteria was in complete lockdown and Sairi Sorrel was teleporting everywhere. For a moment, Sairi Soro got really close to me and a meeting was called. Oh, thank goodness my life was saved. The meeting quickly ended with no one ejected. When we all spawned in, I tried my best to make a run for it since sometimes the doors would open and close. Eventually, I made my way through and I was near medbay. Me and Tia were stuck in the hallway and Sairi Soro randomly teleported right in front of us. Sairi Soro randomly vanished and a meeting was called, but it showed that Sairi Soro was dead. Even though he was an imposter, I let everyone know that I was trapped for so long. I was just trying my best not to get voted out, since I was the only imposter in the game. But during the voting session, my game began to glitch once again, and I crashed for the second time. Ugh. I joined another lobby out of frustration, and I could see a player standing on the chairs. Which is impossible. I then looked outside of the dropship and I saw Sairi Soro. So does Sairi Soro have the ability to give other players hacks? Because I have never encountered two hackers in one lobby. I opened up the chat and I told Sairi Soro, this is your third time today in my lobby. 
Sairi Sorrel then responded with three times the charm. Okay, Sairi Sorrel, that's not funny. I then told him, will you leave me alone? And he responded with that smiley face that he always sends me. After seeing that smiley face, I already knew my answer was a no. Several players were joining the lobby, but the colors, skins, and pets weren't changing this time. I'm assuming Sairi Sorrel learned his lesson after being kicked out in the first match. And when we all spawned in, Sairi Sorrel was right next to me and then teleported. He started to teleport across the entire cafeteria that it was hard to catch up to him. And the cafeteria was also on lockdown so I managed to escape somehow. While I was trapped, Cyrus Soro killed Purple right through the door. And Yellow randomly teleported as well. So now there were three hackers in my game. It was Cyrus Soro, White, and Yellow. I started to run around the admin room because I was afraid of being killed. And a player reported Purple's body. Nobody was ejected but at least I managed to stay alive. The cafeteria was once again under lockdown but I managed to escape towards weapons. While I was in navigation, Cyrus Soro teleported right next to me. Hopefully I'm not the next person that he takes out. And Green called a meeting. Man, these crewmates are saving my life. Nobody was ejected. When we all spawned in, I started to run around the cafeteria since there was no way out. The cafeteria doors were completely shut. And I was about to witness something that I've never thought I would ever see. Sairi Soro turned into me. He had my username and my color. Could this be a sign that Sairi Soro wants me to join him? This can't be. The game ended and I said that I lost. I was an imposter for some reason even though I was a crewmate when I first started the match. I think Sairi Soro wants me to join his side. If you would like me to confront Sairi Soro about all of these events that took place, let's see if we can get this video to 25,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on. And check out one of these Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.